Hey guys, this is Femship. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a mix-in by editing either a script or a property in a PCC file. Um, this is pretty similar to a, the PCC editing guide except for the fact that we can't use ME3 Explorer to save the file because it expands it and then a patch wouldn't work because you could have users expand it, expand it, expand it and they wouldn't exactly know where to apply. So what you're going to need for this is a hex editor. Um, HXD is one I like to use. You can find it online for free. Um, so what we do first here is what we're going to be doing in this video, and we'll be doing it live, um, hopefully I don't make too many mistakes, is we're going to be making the Atlas meleeable by enemies of it. So like in my hack all the things mod, enemies will run around and try to melee other enemies like the Phantom. But for some reason they made it so that all enemies can't be meleeed. So the Phantom will go stand in front of the Atlas while it punches it and sink kills it and it won't even attack it with a melee so it kind of stands around and does nothing useful. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Mod Manager and open ME3 Explorer. Um, I don't think it really matters what version you have. So for I believe this one um, we have to use DLC Editor 2. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to open SFAR And then we go to, for this item, I believe it's defined in test patch. So we go bio game, patches, PC console, patch 001 SFAR. Then we can search for SFX pawn, or no, patch, SFX pawn, I think it's Atlas. Yeah, this is it right here. Yep, so we go file, um, extract selected, and we'll just put this on the desktop. Done. All right, so that's done. So I'm gonna make a copy of this file. I'm gonna paste it right here. I'm gonna name it Patch Atlas and then Dash Patch because this is the file I'm gonna to use to generate a patch. So when you're making a mixin, you have to have the original file, and it has to be decompressed. So if you're doing a base game file, you have to run through the PCC. Um, what is it? Repack, I think they call it. It's PCC Repacker, so you, if you're using one out of the base game, the one you didn't pull out of uh, DLC, you have to select PCC file to decompress. Um, that way you'll get the actual file size when Mod Manager extracts it for a user. Uh, because, also because there's no way to s find it in hex if it's compressed. And so you're going to copy and what's going to do is it's going to copy the new file, the patch atlas patch difference from this one, and it's going to calculate a, what they call a diff file which is a list of differences. They're only like, they'll be less than a kilobyte since it's only going to be a single byte. So in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to close Mod Manager. Uh, we're going to open up HXD and open our patch. So this looks scary and it will be at first, but I'll walk you through how to find what we need to edit. So what we're doing here is we go back to ME3 Explorer. We're going to go into PCC Editor 2 and we're going to file load from the desktop, our original file, so patch SFX pawn atlas. So we open that up, and the melee stats are in the pawn definition, I believe. So in this instance, we're gonna scroll all the way down, so we find SFX pawn atlas. Um, here's the hex we're gonna be looking at. So we go to properties. Uh, can be meleeed is false. We want to change that to true, but we can't do it through this interface Because when we save it what it's going to do is it's going to take this I believe it's a class and it's going to append it to the end of the file instead of just editing the direct directly Even though it should be possible to do it as a single byte change it does in case you expand it um, We'll work around that but uh, so this is where we want to edit stuff. So what we do is I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move this over here. So right here where it says data offset, this is where in this file this class starts in terms of hex. So what we're going to do is we're going to search in HXD and we're going to go to. Um, and this is in decimal instead of hex, so we change this to decimal. So I'm going to do 113638. Typically, I notice they a lot of the classes start with a bunch of Fs and a wall of Fs like this. Um, that's fine. So, 
So then what we do is we go over in ME3 Explorer and we click on Interpret. Um, you might have to hit Start Scan depending on the version you have. Um, so what we do is we scan through this list. Da 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 da. Where is B? Can be melee right here. So it starts at 48. So what I did, so essentially we're at the start of the class in HXD, and this is part way down it. So what I like to do is I like to look for like a set of hex on the right. So in this instance, here's AF 00000078. So I'm gonna do find. We're gonna change this to hex because this isn't a text tree. So it's AF 00000078. And from here down, this will probably be the very first match. So what I'll look at is, I'll look for these characters right here. So it's X and then dot 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 followed by a T, W, a T. Um, the, these are only four wide and I believe these are 16 wide. So four of these is one row. So if it looks different on both screens, that's why. W, T, T, capital I, T. So essentially, uh, for the most part, the hex editor um, the text output and the one in ME3's Explorer text output will be the same. I think the one on uh, HXD can support more characters. So that's why you get like the little Y hat or this monitor I'm using is terrible so I can't actually read what that says. But anyways, so what we want to do is we want to go to can be meleeed. So I'm going to search for a 48 now because, oops. I'm going to search for a 48 because the next 48 is likely going to be the one I'm looking for. So 48 preceded by 74 and a 79. So preceded by 74 here, 74, okay, and a 49, and then a 74. Okay, so this is likely it. So can be melee, it's right. Oops, can be melee starts right here. So on the left, we have where it starts, and on the right, we have where it starts in the hex for this class. So this is the start and can be melee is a true false value so it's a zero and a one and I found that most times in the definitions for um, like either an integer or a float or a boolean which this one is a true false what you do to find this easily is you click on the next one so it ignores pets 5d five so I'm gonna search for 5d it's right there I believe yeah, 74, 5Ds. You can see on the left it matches about one row off. So the byte before this is just a set of two zeros right here. Zero, one, we'll change that to true. So if I set save that, and then I'm going to open up another one of these so I don't edit the wrong one. So we go to file, load. We're going to open up the patch one that I just modified. Properties page can be meleeed true. That's how you'll typically find these. Um, you essentially what you do is you look at the next, the start of the next object in the interpreter, and go back one byte, and that'll typically be how you edit the um, class properties like this. Um, for other things like the script, like set usable. Um, Let's just take a quick look, or take a quick gander here. Um, let's see, this one doesn't have any return true or false. Anyways, so what we have here is if you wanted to do it in the same as this, what you could do is you would look in here, you go to the properties page, you'd start at the data offset. And then what you would have to do is you'd have to look through these tokens and the addresses and look at HXD and then edit it. And essentially you're going to always have to come back and reload it in here to make sure it does what you do, or what you want to do. Um, it's kind of tedious, but I mean, you can do it so it's better than nothing. So in this instance, we now have our patch file saved so it's editable. So we can close ME3 Explorer and we can close this. And so... And it makes a an HXD makes a back file when you save it. This is the original, so essentially these two files should be identical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these 
into mod manager. I'm going to go into the data folder. I'm going to go into the tools folder because there's stuff here. So I'm going to paste that. I'm going to open a command window here. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do jdiff. Uh, jdiff is the tool that mod manager, and if you don't have this, um, it comes with mod manager 4 as a download. If you've upgraded, you have to try to apply mix in and it'll download it from my server. And then you do dash b, which is means, I think it stands for dash better. And then the source file, which is patch sfx pawn atlas. You hit tab to autocomplete. And the new file, patch, oops, patch, no, patch, atlas, patch. And if you do it right, you should get this garbage out. Um, so if we do this, the back one, dot back that you should get a little short garbage this tip this is the original diff um, I think it, all the stuff that's originally there is just like metadata that's included it's like hey this was generated program X this is the end of the data or this is the end of the diff so even if you diff two identical files there'll still be a little garbage output um, I don't actually know what it is but um, if you run a patch on it it won't actually modify anything so what you do is you do the diff here, and as you can see, it is different, the output. So what you see there is the actual change and the offset. This right here is why the files have to be the same, because it's match, it's changing a single byte at a certain offset. So you do a right caret, and then like I'll do um, atlas can be melee dot, and they have to be dot JSF files. And the reason they have to be that is because I don't know what I'm doing when I coded this product and it's actually supposed to be JDF because it's JoJo's diff but I wrote JSF and I didn't want to go back and modify all of them because I'm too lazy. So down here we have this Atlas can be melee. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to go up to data, mix in library, patches. I'm going to make a new folder. And I try to the way I try to make mixins is I try to make the folder name start with what the patch describes and then what it applies to um, typically like this would be can be melee atlas and that doesn't always take effect because down here actually no that's not true just kidding so in here I have that so I'm gonna paste my patch and then I'm gonna rename this to patch.jsf the reason I named it atlas can be melee is because if you do multiple of these really quickly um, you're gonna get this uh, a note if you're gonna do the multiple ones of these on the files uh, what you're gonna want to do is make the patch JSF file and then undo your changes so if I so for example I changed zero zero can't be melee to zero one true if I wanted to make like drivable atlas which I've already made but in this example if I wanted to do that what I would do is I would change that back to zero zero and then save it and typically what I want, I'll want i do before I make my next change is I'll run this diff again, um, this, and I'll make sure that what I'm getting out is the right thing. Otherwise, my mix-in might be like drivable atlas, but then can be melee, it's also installed in that diff. Um, that's not very nice, because maybe the user doesn't want that. Um, so, in that case, so now we have that, so, let's see here, what was that? That was can be melee atlas. And that was in test patch, and I believe the Banshees one is also in test patch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the patch desk.ini that, and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to open here, and it's going to can be meleeed atlas. This makes enemies of the atlas can melee them. This is, patch does not make the atlas unkillable. Uh, the target module is the header that you would use if you were adding this to the mod so test patch reckoning rebellion ones like that not mp1 mp2 mp3 those are those are known as internal uh, I have what I'm dealing with in my program what I have is I have a set of file or cold set file names so like default DLC con mp5 and then I have headers which is like rebellion and test patch and stuff and then I have internal mp1 mp2 test patch stuff like that and I mean, it's really confusing because the program was developed at different times, but that's just how it is. 
So for the target file, you enter, this is actually a search term for DLC editor 2, but I pretty much make it just so you have to type in what exactly the file. So it's going to be Atlas. And the target size will make it so it can only apply to this size of file. Um, and it only makes sense that it does. So if you change this, it probably won't work. This is so people who edit or have texture mods don't apply this to a file that doesn't make sense. So it'll apply a one, but it won't be where it's supposed to be and it could break anything. So essentially you can only use mixins with other mixins for mods. In fact, you couldn't even apply this mixin to hack all the things mod that I shipped a while ago. So what you want to do for target size is you want to set it to the size in the properties. Um, you don't want it to be in the uh, size on disk because that's higher just because of how it's stored, how many sectors it uses. So this is 121475. So we save that. Um, the CMM ver, uh, it can be, was 3.2. We can change this to 4.0. It's the same thing. Um, 4 was originally going to be 3.2, but I changed it after I added some more stuff. So we can close that. We can close that. Uh, we can close that. So we're going to run Mod Manager now. And um, let's see, let's apply this to my zombie mod. So we go to Mixin Library. We're gonna apply this to Zombie Mod. And can be Melee Atlas. Apply Mixin. It'll extract it. And it's really small, so it'll extract it quickly. And then it's gonna update the talk on it. It's gonna add the job for it. So even though zombie mod didn't modify that file, it extracted it and put it in the mod for us. So now we just apply it. And let's check it out. So as you could see a second ago, the uh, Scion attacked the Atlas with its swipe attack, which means that this patch is going to work. So with that, that wraps it up. Um, you can use this to allow a one kilobyte mod rather than having to distribute huge changes. Uh, going forward, this is probably how I'll distribute all my mods. I'm going to update Mod Manager so we can distribute these on MP3 tweaks really easily and keep them in sync at one kilobyte it'll be really easy to distribute these quickly um this has been femship uh happy modding